Hey guys, Rob here. So today's video, I wanna share with you uh, what I came up with my ideas for my DIY car kitchen. So you guys, as y'all saw in uh, my catch and cook video, um, I kinda just threw something together and we actually uh, cooked up our catch right back here in the car. It was, it was actually more on the, like the tailgate, I guess you could say the bumper. Um, but that's because I had stuff in here, you know, and as a mechanic and stuff like that, and just somebody that's generally trying to be as prepared as possible for things. I keep my tools back here and uh, I wasn't really able to cook back here. So what we're going to do, what I thought of is that I want to build a platform that's probably going to sit about maybe eight inches off of here. So it's going to be made out of angle iron. So I'll do pretty much a square or a rectangle, I should say, across here, and then we can put maybe a plywood surface on and maybe like laminated or whatever and um, have a drawer system for cooking equipment or whatever. And then that way I can still keep my jack in the car because I don't like using those little diamond jacks that come with the cars. And, you know, being somebody that's a mechanic, I always carry my real jack with me in case I have to change a tire on the road. I feel a lot safer with this particular jack. so. This has to stay in the car and uh the plan is to build the platform up high enough so that way the jack can still fit under it as well as a couple of you know a couple of basic tools and stuff so that's the plan is to build a platform here have a drawer system that can come out and uh that way we can cook on top of the platform and still have all this storage down under here so I've got a lot of angle iron and extra metal and stuff from all the other builds that I've done. So I wanna use that metal to uh, make the structure of this thing. So in today's video, we're gonna do some cutting, we're gonna do some welding and just some fabrication work. All right, so I just did my measurements. So we're gonna do nine inches tall, that way there's still enough clearance here for the jack. And then we're gonna do 15 and a half inches across here by 54 inches from one side to the other. And the reason why uh, we can get more space out of this, but because the seats are like inclined back a little bit, we actually lose some distance from here to here. So we have to measure from straight up to where it meets the seat. And we have 15 and a half inches. So from where it meets the seat to this corner here is how much depth we're gonna have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this angle iron ready, marked up for cutting, and um, we're gonna we're gonna chop that metal up. So I wrote my dimensions here. That way I don't forget. And uh, I'm gonna pull out the grinder and start doing some cutting. All right, so I just got all the metal cut and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we got here. So we got our uh, main cross beams. Um, that's gonna go stretch from one side of the car to the other. I got two of those and then we have the other ends for it to make the rectangle. And then I cut four legs. I'm probably gonna do maybe two more of these in the middle to act as support. And then it'll also help for like the drawer system that I'm gonna create. But uh, yeah, so right now what I'm gonna do is I got the flap disc on the grinder here and I'm just gonna deburr all the edges because you guys can see it's all like pretty rough cut from the grind from the, uh, the cutoff wheel. So I'm gonna deburr all of that, bevel, you know, round the edges off just a little bit. That way, uh, you know, nobody gets snagged on anything in the future. And um, uh, probably start tack welding this thing up and get back to you guys.
All right, so this is where we're at now. I got the legs tack welded on, uh, all four legs. This thing is all tack welded. Uh, and then we're gonna do a test fit just to see how it is. If everything's good, then uh, I'm gonna uh, hit it with the wire brush real quick. And then I'm gonna fully weld this thing up. Fits like a glove. It's totally flush up against the back seats. Yeah, this thing is came out perfect. The legs fit in that back corner exactly how I wanted. So yeah, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then I'm gonna fully weld this guy up and um, probably give it a coat of paint and then I got to go to the store and uh, pick up some plywood I don't know if I have enough plywood here to do this I might but uh, if anything I have to go to the store pick up some plywood and maybe some nice uh, like linoleum or something to put over the top of it All right, so I got it all fully welded up. This thing is solid now, and uh, I'm gonna do one more fit. Should be fine though, but uh, we're gonna fit it and inspect it. Yep. Fits in here perfectly right up against the edges here which is what I wanted and uh, I'll show you guys some of the welds I don't know if the camera is going to be able to focus since it's a GoPro it's dark on that side you can see here so yeah this thing is solid I don't think I'm gonna need a crossbar here I mean this thing is it's not going anywhere and then when I get the plywood for it I'm gonna lay that plywood over it that's gonna add strength to it as well and it's not like we're putting heavy stuff on top of this guys I mean it's just gonna be probably just basic things and then obviously like the cook stuff you know so uh, probably do some drawers here that can come in and out um, this side will be reserved for my jack and tools here uh, But yeah, let me put the seats back So seats are locked in and you guys see it's still sitting nice and flush Which is exactly how I wanted it So for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is I'm gonna put all my stuff back into the car and uh, we'll do a part two or maybe even a part three of this setup here because I'm not done working on it. You guys see today was just putting the frame together, the foundation for everything. And we're just going to build as we go because I don't have a plan for this. I'm kind of just winging this stuff off my head. So, uh, you know, as we build, you know, we'll get new ideas for certain things and we'll incorporate that into that the uh, back part of the car here. But uh, yeah, so right now I'm going to end the video here and uh, next time we'll get the plywood and you know do some more tinkering and see what works guys if you guys have any ideas or anything for the build here feel free to drop them down in the comments below you guys know i always appreciate that and uh hit the thumbs up if you can and uh subscribe if you're new as always so till next time guys i'll see you peace
And did I say it was hot out here? Man, I'm freaking drenched. Head to toe, soaked in sweat. So hit that like button, guys.